Hello and welcome back for part three of my portrait editing series. Um, if you haven't seen the previous ones, uh, there's a playlist that I'll, I'll link up here. And what we're going to be doing this week is we're going to be looking at doing some frequency separation for skin smoothing as well as um, just kind of an overall skin tone adjustment. Um, we're probably not going to end up with a perfect photo uh, this time around. But uh, we'll be very, very close. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Back to the selfie. What we're going to do uh, is go ahead and right click and we're going to duplicate this layer. And we're going to go up to filters, frequency separation. Um, I prefer a two pixel. Going to let that run. And then we're going to get high and low frequency. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to, we're going to, make the high frequency invisible. Um, and then we're gonna go to the low frequency. I go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Um, I prefer about a five for most skin applications. Um, and then we're gonna actually make a mask, attach that mask to our low frequency. We're going to invert our low frequency mask so that low frequency is not applied. Next, we're going to select our brush tool. Uh, make sure the color that we're using is white. We're going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Um, and then we're going to just paint in most of the areas of skin on my face. Uh, you want to be careful when you're doing this. Um, First of all, you want to set your hardness to zero, which my mistake. Um, you don't really want to get hair into the mix as much. Um, so for example, if I, if I went over my eyebrow, you can see that that just looks absolutely terrible. So we're going to avoid a lot of hair, uh, you know, the, the one or two little strands here and there is not going to make a big difference. But we don't want to lose that that detail. So go ahead and continue on like this. That's um, all of the skin smoothing that I'm going to do. Um, and actually, if we turn it off and then turn it back on, you can see that it kind of smooths out all of that stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. We're going to go ahead and merge visible. Actually, before we do that, excuse me, got ahead of myself. Um, we're going to go ahead and drop the opacity down in this to, yeah, 50% looks nice. Now, uh, more skin smoothing, less skin smoothing. It depends on your subject. Be aware that this is this is salt and pepper to your taste and to the taste of whoever's portrait you're you're taking. Okay, so now that we've we've adjusted that, we're going to go ahead and uh, merge visible. All right. So now we've got that out of the way, um, and as you can see, I'm looking a little jaundiced right now. So let's go in here and let's drop in a HSL. So we're gonna select the yellows. Um, just pull the saturation down. So it looks a little bit nicer. Um, in fact, to get something more specific, let's go ahead and take the picker and select the tone that we're worried about. And as you can see, uh, it was very different from the original, but we can kind of Bring the saturation down there. I also like to go in um, on the reds, usually pick something from the lip and then pull the saturation down just a little bit. So now I am extremely, extremely pale. Um, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and get our brush and select black and put back a little bit of color, definitely into the lips and the eyes because um, we don't want to take anything away from them. And it does look a little extreme, but what we're going to do is we're going to just slowly bring up the opacity until it looks kind of nice. 
So there, I think about a 30, 35. Okay, so here's our before, here's our after, right? It's a little bit more muted. Okay, and that's it for this week. Um, we went over frequency separation, skin smoothing, a little bit of, of skin tone adjustment. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not subscribed, if you would subscribe, that would be great. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified when we have new videos. Leave a comment below if you have any, uh, any comments about this video, good or negative. Um, and I will see you all next week. Bye.